Hi everyone, we are Living the Do Live. I'm Amber. I'm Paul. And it's another week of Airstream homesteading life. Welcome to our channel. Okay, so in the last video, I told you that we'd given up on the idea of a wraparound outside furniture couch and all that due to inflation and prices. But we did compromise and we got some pretty chairs and they're comfortable, kind of cheap, hope they last, but you know, our will time will tell because our grandkids are gonna give them a workout. We got cushions, we got rugs, we got some end tables, and today's the day we're gonna get it all set up to make an outside beautiful space for our family to gather. Let's get started. Okay, so we just have a slight problem in that the sun is coming right onto the chairs. So Paul is using our Airstream awning shade to put it up and block that sun a little bit. Take a look. Yeah, that works great. That was a good idea, babe. So the shade that Paul put up, it's so funny because that is the, our awning shade for the Airstream and it fits perfectly in width and the ties that are on the top um, go perfectly to the holes in this little dividing wall that we have. So it worked out so good. looks really good. It's campfire time, roasting marshmallows. This morning, we are having a lazy day, playing on our phones, working in my planner, waiting for the dog to have her puppies. Ah, oh, I can't wait. We have them on camera and are watching live. And the kids are over here, comfortable in the new furniture, playing on their phones. That's gonna be muddy mess. <laughs> that is so cool. Mom, can I do it? Mimi, I like your glitter one. It splashes a lot. My arms ain't that strong. Mimi, it's gonna split.
it is a new day and we are going to go see the new puppies. So Freckles is Chelsea's first Australian Shepherd that has had her puppies. Charlotte will be having her puppies in about 10 days and she's a toy, which means she'll be a little bit smaller than Freckles. I think Charlotte is going to have smaller puppies, which is what I want. So I'm excited. Let's go see Freckles' puppy. I can't get too close. Chelsea is her person and she's very protective of the puppy. She's a good mama, but let's go see if we can check him out. They are so cute. She has a couple mer Merles and some tries. She had six puppies total, three females and three males. So I'm taking a test run with little Sela here. That's what they named her. Um, she's almost eight weeks. We'll have her last set of shots. Say hi, Sela. We gave her a bath and I'm just walking around holding her to see what her temperament is. And um, Jaxie likes her, he loves her actually, he barks when he can't be right with her, which kind of scares her, but she's a little cutie. We'll see, we'll see. There's lots of puppies out there. Yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting outside. She's taking a little nap. Good morning, good morning. It is another day, obviously. And besides the puppies being born this week, which was so exciting, we have another big thing. Jaxie. He sees a dog at the end of the road. But we have another big thing going on. And this one's a little bit more serious. So my son-in-law went in the hospital this morning um, to have a major vascular surgery on his carotid artery. And so Chelsea is going to be at the hospital with him for at least two days. Paul and I have been tasked with taking care of our grandbabies, which is a pleasure. But also the, the um, Aussie business. My daughter is a breeder. So um, yeah, this ought to be interesting because Freckles just had her puppies and she won't let me anywhere near her or the puppies. <laughs> So I'm waiting for her to have to go really bad outside and then I'm going to put her in a kennel so that I can weigh the puppies. This is the plan and clean out her kennel, etc. So we'll see how that goes. I'm fixing to go over and wake the grandkids up and start making them a nice breakfast before we get out and start doing some chores. So that is what it's looking like today. We're real bacon here. <laughs> Me and him have the same book no um <laughs> and she I said she's gonna marry Joe Biden. <laughs> and she punched him. She Did went, you punch your brother? She went like this <laughs> at my she And went, you don't feel bad about it, huh? She went like this at my face. This is said, child politics. <laughs> Sissy, you don't look very uh, ashamed of yourself. She looks happy for it. <laughs> When Peyton was coming after me, I got scared. <laughs> oh man, guys. So Paul and I have not been off this property since March 30th, which is 10 days. It is overdue. We need to get out of here. I've enjoyed the kids. Uh, my son-in-law is recovering from surgery. Paul and I need to get away for a little bit, so we're gonna head out. We haven't been out to eat in so long. It's so nice to get out. After all the traveling we did and all the different places, we have loved being home and getting our homestead together, but now it's like, Okay, we have to get out. <laughs> and dinner is wonderful. Before we go, let me show you how big my plants have gotten in this week. My tomato plants are huge. I've got some cherry tomatoes and lots of flowers on the other one. 
These, this is the poblano, the carrots. I've got cucumbers and red radishes. My onions are getting big. My mint is looking great. So is the lemon balm, my basil, parsley, and I always forget what this one is. Lemon thyme. My flowers are doing great. And then over on this side, my lavender has flowers. My red, my chili red hot peppers, uh, not doing too great. My jalapenos. You see, I've got jalapenos on both plants. My gypsy sweet peppers not doing really good. I need to find out what's going on with that one. It's got some level um, yellow leaves. My thyme is doing great. My green pepper bush. This one is got some buds on it. But look at that one. The smaller plant already has a green pepper. And then my red um bell sweet pepper is not doing that great i gotta figure that out we hope you like this video thanks for watching everybody if you haven't subscribed already please do and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to live simply dream big and do life love y'all bye bye bye